The following podcast is considered an explicit podcast by iTunes. There's a very good reason why this is the case. Think about it. You know, David, I just realized something. What's that? The USFL and The Apprentice are the two most successful things to ever be associated with Donald Trump. Neither one of them have his name directly attached to it. (laughs) Coincidence? I don't fucking think so. Oh, jeez. Anyway, with that out of the way, uh, this is the sports section, actually, not a continuation of the silly news and dumb tweets section, as that story may have suggested. And we're going to start off with probably the biggest news out of the sports world. We have not just one, but two new campeones. First off in the National Hockey League, the Stanley Cup Finals are in the books. And congratulations to the Chicago Blackhawks. Woo! Your 2015 Stanley Cup champions. I know your, uh, adopt, your uh, spiritual sister, Daisy, is uh, probably ecstatic. Yeah, very. And they took down the dancing astronauts, so <laughs> everyone's which, a winner there. Which I guess is the universe's way of saying, hey, you know that whole ticket bullshit that you tried to do to try try and manipulate how many fans are in your stadium? Fuck you for that! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. And uh, despite the fact that it has been exceptionally rainy, and in fact in some places even flooding in Chicago, uh, they did have a very well-attended victory rally, uh, the guest host of which was um, a certain current Marvel writer, slash uh, soon-to-be UFC fighter, who has also been known to be a pretty prominent figure in the WWE. <laughs> I speak, of course, of one Phil CM Punk Brooks. Is he actually going to use that name in UFC? Yeah, I mean, he. as far as I know, he's got the rights to that. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I mean, he was able to keep it from his Ring of Honor and even TNA days, which, yes, he was in TNA. More on that next week. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Uh, also in the National Basketball Association, we got three words for you. Suck it, LeBron. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations to the Golden State Warriors. You have brought the Bay Area a championship that the San Francisco 49ers could not get you. <laughs> and that leaves the burning question, will Cleveland ever get a championship? Yeah, see, if this doesn't say that LeBron needs another superstar of roughly equal standing, healthy, to help him win a title, I don't know what does. Well, he did kind of have two of those in the Miami Heat, and the San Antonio Spurs still made him their bitches. Well, see, that's why I qualified with the word healthy. Because Dwayne Wade had been having injury problems all that year. And for that matter, so had LeBron. Yeah, true. So, yeah, he had Dwayne Wade, but Dwayne Wade wasn't the same Dwayne Wade from two years earlier. <laughs> yeah. Still a great rivalry, though. So, yeah. Uh, by the way, NBA Finals MVP did not go to Steph Curry, actually. Or even, as I was trying to uh, push on Twitter, his daughter Riley Curry. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, it went to someone who had not started a game until the NBA Finals, Andre Iguodala. Nice. Yeah. So, but ultimately, if we have to say one thing, it's that the Warriors came out to play. (laughs) Clink, clink, clink. You You haven't ever seen that movie, have you? <laughs> Shame because I have seen it. It's actually pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, Golden State Warriors. 
NBA World Champions. Can you dig it? <laughs> and now you know where Booker T got that from. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of transitioning into WWE, uh, NXT is preparing for a huge event in Tokyo, Japan on July the 4th. Headlining that event will be Kevin Owens versus Finn Balor for the NXT Championship. And David, yeah. I got a feeling. What? I got a feeling that Finn Balor is going to win the NXT Championship. Probably. I have a very good reason for this. Because uh, starting on the most recent episode of NXT, they started having a kind of a, for lack of a better phrase, a multi-part documentary about Finn Balor. Kind of like what you would see on the WWE DVDs or on the WWE Network. Ah. And, and it is, I mean, it is... For one thing, it, it does really, really break apart bits of kayfabe because they even go all the way back to when he was just starting out in the British Isles. Uh, nice. There weren't any wrestling schools when he started out in Ireland. So he mm. had to go to England to learn his craft and then came back and started one in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, said wrestling school also led him also uh, trained and led him to meet uh, someone who, by all accounts, he seems to be romantically tied to our favorite last kicker, Becky Lynch. Huh. And I I, I would be mad that it seems like the two of them are are kind of romantically involved if it weren't for the fact that they're just adorable together. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, I mean, it, it goes all the way back uh, mentioning his early days when he was still going by his real name, uh, Fergal DeVitt. Mm. And I imagine the uh, next part that they have will actually go into his time in New Japan, where he went by Prince DeVitt for one very good reason. There's only one R in it. There's only one R in Prince as opposed to basically two R sounds in Fergal. If, if you know anything about the Japanese language, you would know why Fergal would be a little bit difficult. <laughs> I honestly don't think that they would be doing this kind of thing for Finn Balor if they weren't preparing to put the title on him. Hmm. I honestly don't think they would do that unless there was going to be a title change. And... I mean, yeah, they've been having Kevin Owens uh, feuding with Samoa Joe as well. But honestly, Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe, that's a feud that does not need the title. And that's something that WWE doesn't do a lot of anymore. They don't do enough good feuds that have nothing to do with a title. I mean, they've kind of done some title feuds where the title kind of takes a little bit of a back seat. But even then, they've still woven in the desire for a title into it. Case in point, uh, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. Hmm. But I think Kevin Owens, Samoa Joe is going to end up being a feud that is basically a trans-title feud. And in order to do that, they're going to shift the title onto Finn Balor. And also, since apparently uh, Finn Balor has a history of doing this throughout his entire career, you know the body paint's coming out in Tokyo. (laughs) Especially because, for one thing, when he was over in New Japan, he was over as shit as there. He was over as all get out. Yeah. They freaking loved him in New Japan. So... He's come. He's basically, for lack of a better phrase, coming back to his second home. He's going to come back as the demon. He's going to come back as the Fomorian King Balor. So. Should be fun. And, yeah, I honestly believe Finn Balor's going to take the title. And honestly, 
he deserves it. He really does. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Also, earlier I did mention Becky Lynch. It should be noted that it seems like uh, the whole fiery red-haired uh, steampunk rocker chick gimmick is going to be her thing moving forward. So, cool. but hey, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> and I just wanted to reiterate, Jeremy, for those of you who did not listen to our E3 special. Which, if you haven't, please, go. We've got a full playlist of it on our, our YouTube page. Go! Go now! Rory McElroy is now the new face of golf in EA Sports, replacing Tiger Woods after a whopping... 15, uh, 15, 16, something like that. I think 15 years with Tiger Woods' face on it. Maybe 16, I'm not sure. Yeah, e- of course, uh, EA had dropped Tiger Woods from their uh, PGA Tour video game license uh, after his infidelity uh, scandal uh, some years ago. But, of course, it's only been exacerbated by the fact that, uh, well, quite frankly, in recent years, Tiger Woods sucks. Well, his name was still in it all the way until 2014, but they've decided to change that. Unfortunately, the game is on PS4 and Xbox One, not on PC, so I'm going to have to skip a Let's Play of it, unfortunately. Yeah. That's okay. If I ever get capture equipment for my Wii U, you'll probably see me play through Mario Advance Tour. Mario Golf Advance Tour. (laughs) Nice. So I think that's it for sports. Yep, that's it for sports. We'll see you a little bit later because we have the World Cup 2 seeding for Major League Pokemon. Spoiler warning! Hashtag Laster Bust lives. Hey everyone, this is David. Like what you hear? Check us out on the internet at casualmodepodcast.com, on Facebook at facebook.com slash casualmodepodcast, any one of our social media links, and of course, click on the little subscribe button below. Thanks!